hi so in a recent video of mine I sort of demonstrated this uh, Hanaya MF15 pocket multimeter and some of the viewers requested that I should have included the entire manual so and also if I could demonstrate how to measure the capacitance inductance and there is also another function high resistance and then also output level so which are which are by the way not marked on the uh, range selector uh, most of them are actually on this 250 volt uh, AC line so let's see first the uh, instruction manual you can pause the video and take uh, take closer look at it Here it even shows you the circuit diagram and it looks so simple there are actually two diodes the only two semiconductors so we know about the ACDC voltage and current up to this uh, resistance then the output level here it specifies that the output level can be from minus 10 to all the way up to plus 62 decibels and the capacitance can be from 0 0.03 to 0 0.6 microfarad. So ceramic capacitors should be okay and the high resist uh, and the inductance is start starts from 10 henry now i know 1 henry is a big amount and getting a 10 henry inductor i think i'll have to try the biggest transformers i have let's see here is a big transformer there is another one bigger one maybe this can give me 10 henry i don't know ah, let's put this aside okay and that's basically it it uh, it uh, lists about five functions i mean uh, eight functions five of which are uh, common uh, the voltage current resistance the basic three and then also the capacitance and the high resistance is not really i mean in most digital multimeters it's already over 2000 mega ohms so why it's called high resistance i know i don't know and also the capacitance is uh, sometimes common in digital multimeters digital multimeters will beat analog multimeters in almost uh, every function even this uh, amplification uh, factor that can be measured with the cheapest uh, I guess well not the cheapest uh, some of the cheaper digital multimeters so if we can see that it tells you to use the AC ranges mostly to do all of these maybe there is some internal circuitry I mean, obviously there is some internal circuitry that uh, is not marked on the uh, range selector but it works you know uh, it's supposed to be loss here I mean if you uh, the output level really means uh, how much uh, your amplifying the amplification uh, factor or the transmission loss the decibel scale is going to be okay and here are some uh, 
yeah, basically if we look at the dial I mean the scales the top one we know is the resistance which is this mega ohm then the 100k goes right uh, well I'll have to adjust it from the camera's point of view and then tell you that here is the first scale this one which already includes the second scale this scale and then underneath it is the 10 volt up for the elect uh, uh, voltage measurement and under here is the also the voltage measurement and then it says capacitance here in microfarad by the way uh, this is the high resistance scale this mega ohm this is the high resistance scale you can see that it says 0 0.1235 all the way up to 100 mega ohm here and this is the capacitance scale uh, which you'll have to use either 60 hertz or 50 hertz AC signal to measure and for both of these there are two scales this one two and these two are also capacitance uh, three and four so it actually tells you in the in the manual that you have four scales for capacitance measurement where did it say again Here it says is read on four scales calibrated for 50 hertz AC 10 volt 60 hertz AC 10 volt 50 hertz AC 250 and 60 hertz AC 250 respectively so when you connect the 10 volt signal and then sorry this is not the one when you connect the 10 volt signal and put the capacitor under test you will get some reading uh, on these four scales now the problem is for the capacitance measurement I do not have a perfect 10 volt AC signal or a perfect 250 volt AC signal the 250 volt is out of question because this is, this is dangerous However, the 10 volt, I have tried some of the transformers that I had laying around and none of them was accurately 10 volt. And <coughs> it actually tells you that there, there is a, there is a, a necessary adjustment uh, and it has to be 10 volt AC signal. I think you need a variac for that. Here again you have to use this AC. I don't know why they're so keen on using these lines. They tell you the formula to calculate it with. And of course you have to use these. For the high resistance you also need DC 250 volt. I'm sorry. Yes, you need DC 250 volt. How am I going to generate DC 250 volt? I'll, I'll have to multi uh, use a multiplier or any other method. Basically, these three functions are quite out of my hand. Either I'll need high voltage for DC, DC high voltage. AC high voltage or precise AC voltages. I wish I had a variac. And there is no not much to it. Uh, tell me more if you if you if if your questions are uh, answered or if you really want me to just go ahead and manage a variac from somewhere or a precise 10 volt uh, transformer and then do these things 
and also create the voltage multiplier circuit for the needed 250 volt DC uh, I don't think I'll do that I'm done with this I, ha I have used it for quite a long time when I was little but now is the age of digital multimeters and you should go ahead and get yourself a digital multimeter and you'll probably regret trying to use this like this so with all that I hope this video and this topic is at its conclusion so I hope to see you in my other videos I have been working on some things such as salvaging laptop batteries and I have got a bunch of them right here and I'm recharging them using my DIY bench power supply and I will also attempt to make drones and stuff in the future so if you would subscribe and also maybe sometimes visit and see what I'm doing uh, that may that will that will be very I will be very generous uh, so I hope to see you in my future videos with all that said see you soon